Hola, welcome to Butterfly Spanish. Me llamo Ana. En la clase de hoy vamos a ver el verbo dejar. The verb dejar. Sí. When you finish watching this class, you will be able to say in Spanish, yo dejé de fumar. I stopped smoking. Or I stopped watching TV. Dejé de ver televisión. O I stopped drinking. Dejé de tomar. Or I stopped uh, showering. Yo dejé de bañarme, etc. So stay with me. We're going to learn this verb, lots of examples, and then at the end, I'm going to give you some uh, phrases and we're going to conjugate the verb so you remember in your smart, precious cerebro. Muy bien. And uh, then you'll have more Spanish in your head. Perfect. Perfecto. Suena bien. Entonces, vamos a empezar. Y empezamos con el verbo dejar. Hmm. Dejar. That's my marker. Es mi marcador. Muy importante. Bueno, empezamos con el verbo dejar. El verbo dejar, the verb dejar, it's equivalent in many, in, in many ways to the verb to leave in English. Um, however, the verb dejar in Spanish could be equivalent to the verb to stop in English. We're going to see how to leave is different from to stop in Spanish. First, primero, so we can go through our topic. I stopped showering and I stopped brushing my teeth. Well, I, I guess you didn't, but you can use it for other phrases, correct? Like I stopped, for example, I stopped watching soap operas because I was getting too, too silly. Like my brain was just not good anymore. <laughs> no, I never watched soap operas. Thank you, mom. Uh, very good. Let's start then. The verb dejar. Let's conjugate it first. So you remember the conjugation. Dejar ends with an AR. First conjugation in Spanish. Primera conjugación. Yo dejo tú, tú, tú. Tú dejas él o ella. O oh, usted deja. Oh, I see. Here is él, ella, usted. Here dejas. When I write dejas, tú dejas y dejas. It is because in Argentina, in parts of South America, they say dejas. We, nosotros. Perfecto. Nosotros. Dejamos. Muy bien. In Spain they say, vosotros dejáis. Vosotros dejáis. But in Latin America we say, ustedes, ustedes dejan. Remember, vosotros and ustedes. Same thing, but in different parts of the world. Ustedes dejan. And the next is so easy because it's just the same conjugation as ustedes, but it is for they, males, and they, females. Ellos or females is ellas dejan. And as you can see, it is the same thing. Same thing. The same here. It is the same thing. When you say deja, you can use it for él, ella, o usted, formal. Muy bien. That's the present. Very good. Thank you for the present. But for this lesson, you have to use the past. Now, I'm not going to go through it right now because you're going to get bored. But when I go through the examples, we're going to refer to this. So just remember, this is the presente y este es el pasado. Pasado, perfecto. Pretérito. They call it pretérito. Los lingüistas, the linguists, the masters of the Spanish language, the ones who write grammars and work books about grammar, and I read and I teach Spanish, they call it preterit. And it's a perfect 
past. Muy bien. So let's start with my lesson now. And we'll go through the pretérito. Perfecto. O oh, pasado. Just call it pasado because it's a pasado. When you say in English, I left my house at 7 a.m. Sí. Hoy salí de mi casa a las 7 de la mañana. Because if I'm speaking, I'm not going to say, hoy salí de mi casa a las 7 a.m. Es poco raro, poco raro, ¿no? Hoy salí de mi casa a las 7 de la mañana. Oh, but in English, I said, I left my house. See here, I left becomes salí, the verb to go out. To come out, salir. It's not dejar. This specific usage is salir. Now let's let's go to the siguiente ejemplo. I am leaving tonight. I am leaving tonight. Sorry, I can't go to your class because I am leaving tonight. Now, how can you say that in Spanish? Well, that in español is. Me voy esta noche. Me voy esta noche. No puedo ir a tu clase porque me voy esta noche. Another way of saying this is salgo hoy en la noche. Same verb, you see, salir, salir. Salgo hoy en la noche. En este me voy, yo voy, the verb to go, ir. Perfecto. Salir. One verb, ir, other verb. Next, I left the book on the table. Yes, I returned your book. I left it on the table. Dejé el libro sobre la mesa. Dejé el libro sobre la mesa. Oh, now we enter the world of the verb Dejar, and welcome to this so amazing verb that helps us speak as if we were native speakers. Spanish native speakers. Muy bien. Dejé el libro sobre la mesa. I left the book on the table. You can use this verb to say the place where you leave something first. I left the keys. On the sofa. Yes. Dejé el libro sobre el sofá, sobre el sillón. Muy bien. Now, these verbs have, these, these, all these verbs in English are the ver, um, are different verbs in Spanish. To go, to come out, to go, ir, to come out, salir, and to leave, dejar. So, to leave is going to be equivalent to dejar in the sense that when you leave something somewhere. Perfecto? Now, the other use, the one I'm teaching you today, is when the verb dejar becomes I stopped. I stopped smoking. I stopped watching TV. I stopped, I stopped watching soap operas and so on and so forth. So let's see how this structure, super easy, muy fácil, facilísimo en español. Vamos a ver. Let's see first. I wrote here, Mario used to smoke a lot. Yeah, he looked like a chimenea, not a chimney. Like smoking all the time coming out of his big mouth. Mario used to smoke a lot. Mm, I'm using this verb. Used to. Oh, used to smoke. Yes. Yes, sí, sí, sí. Mario fumó. Fumó mucho. Toda su vida. Well, here I'm using two different tenses, right? Imperfecto. They call it the imperfect past. It's not that it's imperfect, really. It's just that in the past, it doesn't go through a specific 
event or time, right? It's in, they call it imperfect because it's sometime in the past. But we don't know exactly when. That's why we use the pretérito, el perfecto. Porque ese, because that one, sí nos dice el momento específico en el pasado. Exacto. Now, in any way, the way, how, the way I'm saying it doesn't matter. But the message is important. What I'm saying here is Mario used to smoke. Uh, which is Mario does not smoke anymore. No. Mario stopped smoking. Yes. So how do we say that in Spanish? Well, we're going to say, well, Mario used to smoke. Mario fumaba mucho. Como chimenea. Oh, sí. Tenía los y le iba a dar cáncer en el pulmón de tanto fumar. Pobre hombre, fumador. Second way, Mario fumó mucho. There are different past, remember? The, per the perfect, el, el que sí sabemos cuándo sucedió exactamente. Fumó mucho. No importa porque los, las dos formas, las dos formas, the two forms, are telling us Ey, ey, no es cierto. Mario ya no fuma. No, Mario ya no fuma. Mario no longer smokes. Mario dejó de fumar. Mario dejó de fumar. Mario ya no fuma. Mario no longer smokes. Mario dejó de fumar. That's how you're going to express the Mario stopped. When you stop doing something you used to do or you did for a long time, but you no longer do it. Muy bien. Dejar de. So the verb is dejar más la preposición de. Dejar de. Now, because we are talking about stopped, even in English, it's in past. It stopped, he stopped long time ago. So, the same as in Spanish. We're going to use, vamos a utilizar el verbo en pasado. That's why, por eso, puse el verbo en pasado. If I stopped, digo, yo dejé. If you stopped, tú dejaste. <gasps> If usted o él o ella, ella dejó, él dejó, usted dejó, nosotros dejamos, vosotros dejasteis. If you were in Spain, you would say, vosotros dejasteis de fumar, vosotros dejasteis. Ustedes dejaron. Ustedes, say más vosotros, but used in Latin America. Ustedes dejaron y ellos y ellas dejaron. Perfecto. You're going to use the same conjugation for ustedes y para ellos and ellas. For you, plural, and for they, female, and they, males. Because remember, in Spanish, we have all about gender. We're all about gender in our verbs. Perfecto. Uh, in our um, pronouns. Muy bien. Here the same. Usted, él y ella dejó. Same verb, different people. Muy bien. So when you want to express, when you want to, when, when you stop doing something or when your friends stop doing something, you say, de, dejé de o él Dejó de o nosotros dejamos de. Por ejemplo, you can say, puedes decir, nosotros, if you're in a group, jugábamos eh, fútbol. But we no longer play. How are you going to say that? Sí, nosotros, nosotros dejamos. Nosotros dejamos. Preposición 
de. Dejamos de jugar fútbol. Muy bien. Let's go to some ejemplos. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos para, para activarnos, para tener energía. Levántate, levántate. Y pon atención, ¿m? porque te voy a hacer preguntas. Because I'm going to ask you questions. I need to see your paying attention. Muy bien. My, mi primer ejemplo, my first example. Mis hermanos, they, correcto, porque son mis hermanos, hombres, tomaban mucho. Used to drink a lot. Yeah, yeah. My mom was like, oh, hija, no sé qué hacer con tus hermanos. Toman mucho, hija, ayúdame. Oh, I was like, mom, please, just leave them. Whatever, they are adults. But, ah, but my brothers, yeah. They no longer drink. Well, that's what they told me. They no longer drink. Yes. They, mis hermanos, stopped drinking. Ah, now you say that in Spanish. Because I'm using mis hermanos, and mis hermanos is they, males. I'm going to use the verb for ellos. Mis hermanos. Dejaron de tomar. Sí, muy bien. Vamos al siguiente ejemplo. Yo tomaba clases de francés. I used to take French lessons. Remember, French lessons. Oh, it's like the opposite order in English, right? Like, like snake going back. I used to take French lessons. And in Spanish, I wrote, yo tomaba clases de francés, like lessons of French. That's how you would say in Spanish. I used to take lessons of French. Very long, very Spanish. How could you say that? I stopped taking French lessons. Yo, and because it is yo, dejé. Mm -hmm. Dejé de tomar clases de francés. Yo dejé de tomar clases de francés con acento en la E. Sorry, I'm just writing too fast. Muy bien, de francés con acento en la E. Perfecto. Now, aquí puse ejemplos and you're going to tell me how you're going to do it. Perfecto. Yo cantaba en el baño. I sing bathroom. I used to sing in the bathroom. But one day my neighbor said, Oh, deja de cantar. Qué voz tan horrible. Like, oh, what a horrible voz. Just stop singing. Correcto. And since then, desde ahí, ya no canto en el baño, <laughs> calladita, chon, 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 chon. No, nada de cantar, nada de eso. How are you going to say that? <gasps> Ana dejó, and because you're saying Ana, ella, correcto, Ana dejó de cantar en el baño. Now, if it was you, if it were you, maybe the same thing, your neighbor complained about your singing that he could hear. <laughs> in his apartment. <laughs> so you say, uh, oh, why did I write the first example? <laughs> what I try to see, what I try to write here is, I used to use soap, like to shower. Yo usaba jabón para bañarme. But I stopped because it irritated my beautiful skin. So I said, no more jabón, no more jabón. Now I'm going to use the... Uh, Camomile. And I said, Ana dejó de usar jabón para bañarse. <laughs> Not what, that's what they think. No, no, no. Porque apesta ahora. Perfecto. Siguiente ejemplo. You can say, yo veía telenovelas. I used to watch soap operas. Sí. Maybe that's your case. You can say, I, I hope you, you say this. 
I used to watch soap operas. And I no longer watch soap operas. How are you going to say that? Well, yo dejé, yo dejé de ver telenovelas. Yes, yo dejé de ver telenovelas. Porque siempre es lo mismo. Because it's always the same. It's like the poor woman who falls in love with a rich guy and then his family opposes the marriage because she's from a lower class. But then they don't know that she's actually a millionaire because her uh, father or like the father who never recognized her now is sick in the hospital and he's going to leave his millions to her. So now those people are going to pay for all the suffering that they caused to the... And they are all versions of this story with like more this or that or the other. There might be like the person who is rich and tries to not get her to fall in love and the ugly end that wants all like the same thing, right? So that's why. Thank you. I, I, I congratulate you that you dejaste que tú Tú dejaste de ver telenovelas. Bravo, bravo. Qué bueno. Me da felicidad. Me da gusto porque las telenovelas son malas para la cabeza. Te hacen tonto. Sí, sí, te hacen tonto. ¿Quieres ser tonto? No. Quieres ser inteligente. You don't want to be silly or dumb. You want to be smart. So don't watch telenovelas. Muy bien. Qué bueno. Perfect. So... For this type of uh, information, for this communication in Spanish, when you want to express something that you no longer do, how are you going to say it? I stopped. I stopped walking uh, by the lake. Yo dejé de caminar por el lago. What is the whole structure I'm teaching you? Why am I using this? Only one verb for all this blah, blah, blah. Well, it has a reason. You can express a lot of information, mucha información. Puedes dar mucha información. Puedes hablar mucho. If you know this structure, what I am teaching you is you're going to use the verb dejar la preposición de and you're going to add the verb in infinitive. Now, what am I saying infinitive? Infinitive, the verb in infinitive, it means infinito? No, it's a form, it's the base form. So for example, if you speak English, then your base form is to stop. But when you're talking, you're not saying, I to stopped, uh, I to stop smoking. You say, I stopped smoking. You don't use the base form because you conjugated the form. ¿Sí? ¿Entiendes? Es lo mismo en español. Nuestra base de los verbos es el infinitivo. En este caso, el infinitivo is going to be caminar o comer, a verb that hasn't been conjugated yet. Por ejemplo, este es un infinitivo. It ends with AR, dejar. But if I say, for example, I used to eat, I used to eat shrimp. You can say, yo dejé de comer camarones. I stopped eating shrimp. Yo dejé de comer camarones. Perfecto. Dejé de comer. I am conjugating the verb dejar. Lo estoy, dejar. Lo estoy conjugando. Estoy diciendo, yo dejé. And, dejé de. Más, comer. Comer es un infinitivo. Porque estoy usando la base, la raíz, la, la base del verbo, comer. Yo dejé de fumar. If I write fumar. Infinitivo, yo dejé de fumar, yo dejé de 
salir, to go out at night. Yo dejé de salir en la noche. Yo dejé de ver televisión. So that's the form. Dejar conjugado, dejar conjugated, plus la preposición de, de, let me say off, I stopped off this one. De más infinitivo. Comer, caminar, salir, correr. Yo dejé de correr, por eso estoy un poco gordita. Sí, 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 porque dejé de correr. Yo dejé de salir porque me estaban saliendo ojeras, ojeras, like bags. Uh, yo dejé de, de tomar vino. I stopped drinking wine porque tiene sulfitos. Dejé de tomar vino. Yo dejé de ver televisión. I stopped watching TV. Yo dejé de lo que quieras. Whatever you want, lo que quieras. Whatever activity you stop doing. Muy bien. ¿Entendiste? ¡Qué bueno! Me da felicidad. ¡Qué bueno! I hope you enjoyed my lesson. If you liked my lesson, subscribe to my channel. Donate to my channel. Watch my channel. Watch other videos. And if you don't like my lesson, then... I don't know. Then don't watch it. Maybe watch another. Sí, otra. Tal vez te gusta otra. ¡Qué bueno! Bueno, nos vemos pronto. Pásala bien. And gusto de verte. Nice to see you. Adiós.